it's vlogtober day 25. Hey world travelers, welcome back to my channel if you're subscribed and if you are new, welcome to the world of Wiss. I'm Wiss and I hope that you do stick around and subscribe to become part of my world. So on today's video, it's supposed to be a mukbang Monday, but I'm not hungry. It's currently 1.34 and I just finished um, my first day of the trip. Like, it's an ugly day out, like real ugly. I wish I could show you because the leaves are beautiful, but I don't want to disclose my location because we're around a lot. Um, like, you can, you can, boom, I know where you at, you know what I'm saying? I don't need nobody to pull up on me, okay? So, um, today... When I commuted in, I met up with a few of my coworkers who I haven't seen in a very long time, whether it be um, some months or some years, and it was just great catching up. Um, and one of my coworkers was like, hey, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. Like, girl, you're literally the same on camera as you are off camera. And I appreciate that. That is like one of the best compliments that I can receive because that's the only version of myself that I know how to be. I only know how to be real. We were talking, catching up on life and you know, seeing you know where the wind was going to take us you know for today and she was asking me for advice on how to handle um a situation that she's going to be walking into as far as who she's going to be working with and that's going to take us into our topic for today and it's basically how to make the best out of a trip working with a not so pleasant or not so friendly or challenging crew so if you know i am a regional flight attendant and what that means is nine times out of ten i only have one flying partner with me but if i'm working alone i'm the only flight attendant on board within my airline um there's two positions that you work you work forward part of the cabin or you work aft part of the cabin and aft is just main cabin forward is first class but at the end of the day, you guys still come together and help each other out. You do trash, you do refills if you need to, you handle customers, whatever it is, you know, you still work well, but you are in your position to do those pre-flights and those duties of that said position. Now at my airline, um, it goes by seniority and within the airline industry, a lot of things go by seniority. So with us, it's the most senior they get to decide where they would like to work and for the most part we alternate so let's say i'm the most senior on my trip today um i say hey i'm whistling nice to meet you where would you like to work even though i'm senior i always allow the person junior to me to pick the only time i ever pick is if i'm not feeling the best um, and I want to specifically start in a said position, that's when I'll pick and I'll say, I hope you don't mind um, if I work the forward part of the cabin or I hope you don't mind if I work main cabin. And for the most part, nine times out of 10, they're down for it. I've never gotten a no, like, no, I don't want you to work then, you know? But um, for the other half, I usually let the junior person pick because I remember when I first started off, it was rare that the senior person allowed me to pick and I always felt like I was pushed, you know, out of my comfort zone, even though it's made me turn into the flight attendant that I am now. But, um, and I like both positions equally. They both have their days, they both have their moments. Um, but, you know, as a five and a half year flight attendant, I'm kind of senior. I'm not senior, senior, but I have a good chunk of seniority under me. Um, and I like that, you know, it feels good, but I never rub it in anyone's face. So my flight attendant friend I was speaking to, she was saying that she worked with said person and this person is junior to her um, by a few years. And the person came on the aircraft, didn't acknowledge her, went and put their bags in the location for the um, position that they wanted to work. Um, and that's not how you ever want to start off a trip you never want to not acknowledge anyone or not say hello or not say hi or just say give me one moment um i'm gonna get my life together i'm gonna be right back you know and introduce myself me i was taught if you walk into a room you open your mouth up and you say hello hi good morning good afternoon or good evening whatever it may be but just acknowledge that you are stepping into a space 
that you haven't been in and that there's people there so she was asking me you know this has happened a couple times and she thought the person was just having a crappy day and it continued on for the entire trip and she just didn't know how to handle the situation and she felt like she was working alone so i told her someone won't know how you're feeling unless you address it to them as someone who works in customer service i've said this before sometimes you just gotta fake the funk you could be going through a lot you know and you probably don't have enough sick hours to call out you know to handle whatever you're handling or going through at home you kind of got to check that at the door or else that's going to carry over into your trip and it's going to carry over into who you're working with so i have worked with people who i did not get along with and i tried to give them the benefit of doubt and i'm saying oh maybe it's just you know they're having a crappy day and then day two comes and it's an even more salty and sour, you know, attitude. And day three comes and I'm like, we need to have a talk, you know? Not confrontational, but hey, um, is there any way that I can assist you? Is there anything I can do to make this trip easier for the both of us? Um, can I offer you lunch? Can I offer you a cup of coffee? Um, do you need to talk about anything? You know, do you need a moment in the bathroom? That's my approach on everything. Because after that, I'm going to say, you know, I would appreciate it, you know, if there was just some mutual respect and, you know, us just being cordial just for the sake of the job to make the trip go by quicker um, for the both of us, you know. So, and anytime I've ever introduced, you know, trying to, you know, have a nice foundation to a trip, the person's mood usually shifts. And there's a change you know sometimes an apology follows and i'm not looking for an apology but i'm just looking for respect you know especially when we're 20 to 30 thousand feet in the air and it's just the two of us behind the flight deck door like we have to have each other's backs especially dealing with the climate of being a flight attendant you know whether it be weather whether it be um, delays whether it be irate customers whatever it is we just always have to have each other's backs so Anytime I've ever addressed, you know, working with someone who wasn't um, the nicest or was probably going through something, they kind of checked themselves and they kind of got back into reality and then the trip moved smoother from there on out. So kind of talked to that person, even offered to buy them a muffin, offered to get them a cup of coffee, and that always just changes the mood, you know, it kind of just changes the day. See if they want to go out on a layover to catch you know a movie or go out for lunch or whatever it may be um but sometimes you have to be the person who kind of leads with kindness my flight attendant friend who i was telling you know how to handle the situation she's like you're right because i've never said anything i just sat there in silence and just had to deal with the uncomfortability of it all and it felt like i had the weight of the world on my shoulders it felt like i was working alone the trip went by so slow and i was like you know, if you address the situation, um, maybe, you know, maybe there will be a difference in the outcome of the trip. Y'all, so the two of us were just talking. We weren't name dropping. Like, I don't even know who the person that she was flying with is. And out of nowhere, she literally tells me my flying partner is walking up to me. And she was like, hey girl, how are you? You ready to start this trip? And my flying partner was like, oh my gosh, I was so nervous, you know, to walk into this situation and here this person is like greeting me and, you know, coming to talk to me and, you know, so that always makes it feel like, ah, this is gonna be a good trip. This is refreshing to know that I have a good flying partner on my side. You're not gonna get along with everyone that you work with and that's okay. Sometimes you just, got to be cordial enough to get the job done and then when you're on your layovers you don't have to deal with that person you don't have to talk to that person you don't have to see that person um up until the next day you know so if you don't want to talk out the situation or you know come to an amends of what we will allow what we won't allow um you might just have to suck it up you know but when that trip is done you gotta treat yourself for just getting through the trip and another thing is customers are pretty good at picking up when crewmates don't get along because it's a lot of animosity it's the tension is thick baby you could cut it with a knife okay you could cut it with a butter knife that's how thick the tension is so um i've dealt with my flying partner being disrespectful to me in front of other customers like the tone in which they were telling me something 
and I didn't check them in front of you know the group of people I didn't even check them on the plane but when we you know came to the hotel I was like hey I need to speak to you you get what I'm saying there's certain things that I just won't allow um, as a flight attendant and as a human you know even when I'm going through my own personal life crisis um, I check it at the door because the last thing I want is someone to know that something is wrong with me and then they ask me what's wrong and if I'm feeling emotional that day and the waterworks start I ain't got time to be crying on the aircraft trying to explain why I'm crying on the aircraft so it's just a lot that's just me that's just how I am but I'm just always willing you know to help out others and see I try to see the good in people you know sometimes you can't find the good in people and people don't want the good to be found in them but you just gotta roll with the punches of life so that was my little TED talk for today um, I had such a great day today was just such an easy day today was a smooth day the weather was on our side I have a great flying partner and it feels good it feels good for the most part I have worked with some of the most amazing pilots and some of the most amazing flight attendants so to all the new hires out there and to all the OG um, flight attendants out there who probably could relate to this it gets better and just know after that trip you probably won't have to see them again you might but just you gonna have to handle the situation and the best way that you see fit for your mental sake and for theirs so with that being said i hope you all enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i'll see y'all tomorrow for vlogtober day 26. bye bye